Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter sets. Here are the questions and solutions from exercise 2.4. Dear children, and this is... Now, the chapter sets and the exercise 2.4, problems and solutions from this exercise 2.4. Here is the first question. State which of the following sets are empty sets. The set of straight lines passing through a point. The first bit is the set of straight lines passing through a point. If I have given a point, for example, you take this as point. Then how many lines you can draw passing through this point? This is one line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Like this you can draw infinite number of lines passing through a single point. Therefore, since there are infinite elements in this set, it is not an empty set. What is the question? Question here is state which of the following sets are empty sets. Now is it empty now? Good. This is not an empty set. Why? Because it is there are infinite number of lines can be drawn passing through a single point. Therefore which is a non-empty set and it is an infinite set too. Second bit. Set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2. Any odd number is divisible by 2? We know that if a number is not divisible by 2, then only it is called an odd number. Since it is an odd number, it is not divisible by 2. Therefore, there is no such odd number which is divisible by 2. Therefore, the solution is it is an empty set. Number of odd numbers divisible by 2 is 0. That is, no odd number is divisible by 2. And third bit, x is such that x is a natural number and x is less than 5 and greater than 7. You see, here this is the set builder form. We have to write a natural number such that it should be less than 5 and at the same time it should be greater than 7. Here it is not R, it is AND. AND means that number should satisfy both the conditions. Means the number should be less than 5 and at the same time it should be greater than 7 for example if you take 4 4 is less than 5 but it is not greater than 7 if you take 8 8 is not less than 5 even though it is greater than 7 therefore you cannot write any number which is less than 5 and at the same time greater than 7 you cannot find any such number therefore it is an empty set no natural number satisfy the given condition now fourth bit x is such that x is a common point to any two parallel lines. x is a common point to any two parallel lines. When can you say that the two lines are parallel? If two lines are said to be parallel, if they have no common point. If there is no intersection point, then only they are said to be parallel lines. Since they are parallel, there is no common point at all. Since there is no common point, it is an empty set. Empty set. The parallel lines cannot have a common point at all. Fifth bit. Set of even prime numbers. Now how many even primes are there? The prime numbers may start from 2. 2 is an even number. Next prime number is 3. 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. All are prime numbers. Except 2. Remaining all are odd numbers. Therefore, there is an even prime which is 2. Okay. Therefore, this set contains even primes has only one element 2. Since there is an element, it is not an empty set. It is a singleton set at the same time. Non-empty set. Because 2 is a prime, even prime. It is a singleton set. Sixth bit. Set of integers that lie between 2 and 3. Is there any integer between 2 and 3? If you write integers, integers may start from minus infinity, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Therefore, there is no integer between 2 and 3. Since there is no integer, it is an empty set. There are no integers between 2 and 3. Therefore, it is an empty set. <coughs> now, question number 2. Which of the following are finite sets and which of the following are infinite sets? I shall repeat, finite sets and infinite sets. When can I say that a set is finite? If the number of elements of any set is countable, then it is a finite set. 
if the elements of any set is uncountable then it is infinite set okay look at the first bit set of months in a year you can calculate the number of months actually there are 12 months in any year therefore since you can calculate the number of months since you can calculate the number of elements in this set in this set of months in a year it is a finite set second bit set of 1 2 3 etc 99 and 100 you can count how many elements are there in this set there are 100 numbers therefore you can count the number of elements in this set and it is a finite set and third bit set of primes less than 99 set of primes is infinite but set of primes less than 99 is a finite set actually there are 25 prime numbers below 99 therefore it is a finite set as it is countable now question number three which are the following are finite sets and which are infinite sets <coughs> first bit the set of letters in english alphabet you can count the number of letters in an english alphabet actually there are 26 letters therefore it is a finite set the set of lines parallel to x-axis if you take x-axis you can draw infinite number of lines parallel to x-axis therefore it is an infinite set third one the set of multiples of 5 you know to get the multiples of 5 you can write 5 into 1 5 into 2 5 into 3 5 into 4 like this therefore the multiples of 5 are 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 like this you can write any number of multiples therefore it is an infinite set there is no end to this fourth bit the set of circles passing through 0 0 origin passing through origin how many circles you can draw you practice you try if you try means 0 0 is a point passing through one point you can draw infinite number of circles you may try once so that you may understand that this set contains infinite number of elements therefore this set is an infinite set now this is the end of the exercise 2.4 all the key concepts of the first chapter real numbers and the second chapter sets and also all the exercises from real numbers and all the exercises from the sets are explained and posted the videos and these links are given in your description you may use them to revise the chapters thoroughly. Thank you. Thank you one and all.